Today, I'm going to show you how to create a street scene in the heart of New York City. This painting is going to be your masterpiece that captures the vibrant energy and excitement of this iconic city while also showcasing your amazing artistic skills. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of painting, let's talk about the importance of preparation. First things first, gather your materials by choosing a high quality oil paints, good brushes, canvas panel, and a palette knife. I'm going to be using liquid as medium, but feel free to use your medium of choice. Next, create a sketch for your painting, visualizing the composition and placement of the various elements in the painting, such as the building, streets, and the figure. You can use pencil or charcoal to sketch out your plan on a separate piece of paper before transferring it onto the canvas. And once you've got your materials and plan in place, Begin the actual painting process by starting with a basic pencil sketch, which will serve as the guide for the rest of the painting. Remember, painting is a process that involves experimenting and trying new techniques, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. Also, stay until the end because I give you my secret on how to add vibrant colors to your painting. So let's get started on this artistic adventure by gathering your materials, creating a plan, and starting the painting process. Now that we have our pencil sketch in place, it's time to start painting. I painted a wash of acrylic yellow ochre to fixate the drawing, and, and now we can start painting the buildings in the background. First, we're going to mix the colors that we need for the buildings. We're going to start with a base color and then add different shades to create depth and dimension. The colors that we are going to be using are titanium white, yellow ochre, viridian green, Alizarin red, ivory black, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, and Indian red. We're gonna also use a variety of brushes to create textures and give the buildings a weather look, reflecting the wear and tear of New York City. For the brushes, I'm using a uh, number zero rounds, the uh, number six rounds, two flat brushes, one liner, a silicone brush, a pencil, and a palette knife. And as we paint, we're going to be paying close attention to the perspective and tonality of the buildings. We want to make sure that they look like they're receding in the distance, giving the painting a sense of depth and dimension. In order to achieve that um, sense of distance, we use uh, something called atmospheric perspective, which basically means that the warm colors are in the front and, the, and as they recede, they turn cooler in temperature. Painting the buildings in the background can be a, a, a bit time consuming, but it's an important step in creating a realistic and believable scene. By the end of this step, you have a beautiful painted background that will serve as the perfect backdrop for the rest of the painting. So keep your brushes handy and let's get to work. With the buildings in the background painted, it's time to move on to the street. The street is a critical element in this painting as it will serve as the base for the figure of the woman and the taxi cabs. We're gonna start by mixing the colors we need for the street. We use a combination of colors shown on the screen to create a realistic pavement color. We then use a variety of brush strokes to create a texture, making the pavement look rough and worn. As we paint the streets, we also add in some subtle details such as cracks and stains to give the painting a sense of realism. These details may seem small but they can make a big difference in the overall look and feel of the painting. By the end of this step we'll have a beautifully painted street that sets the stage for the rest of the painting. Now that the background elements are in place it's time to add the figure of the woman to the painting. The figure is the focal point of the painting and it will draw the viewer's eye so it's important to get it just right. We'll start by painting the figure basic shape, getting the facial features correct, and then using the color shown on the screen, we're gonna start adding clothing, and then we're gonna pay close attention to the folds and drapes of the fabric. The colors that we're gonna be using are Viridian Green with Alizarin Crimson to make a nice dark color, and then we add a little bit of purple. Um, we also have Titanium White and Yellow Ochre for the hair and the highlights. Next, we're gonna add shadings 
and highlights to create depth and dimensions in the figure. We use a combination of warm and cool colors to create realistic skin tones and subtle shading to give the figure a three-dimensional quality. Painting the figure can be a bit challenging, but it's also incredibly rewarding. By the end of this step, you have a beautifully painted figure that brings the painting to life and gives a sense of movement and energy. The colors that we are using for the portrait are titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, dioxysen purple, viridian green, and Indian red. I'm using a combination of orange and purple to make the shadows of the face. And for the lights, I'm combining cadmium yellow with cadmium red and a little bit of white to make the light skin tones. With the figure in place, it's time to add another iconic element of New York City, the yellow taxi cabs. These vibrant vehicles will add a pop of color and movement to the painting. To start, we'll mix the colors we need for the taxis. So I'm using titanium white, cadmium red, and cadmium yellow for the main body of the taxi cab, and then using alizarin crimson and viridian green for the darker areas. We'll also add some shading and highlights to create depth and dimension in the cars. As we paint the taxis, we'll pay close attention to their placement and positioning. We want to make sure that they look like they're driving on the streets and interacting with the figure of the woman. Painting the taxis is fun and it's an exciting part of the process as they add an element of movement and energy to the painting. On the last step, once the figure and the taxis are in place, it's time to put the finishing touches of the painting. Let's now focus on the final details, including the street lines and the buildings in the background. We we'll use a small brush to carefully paint the white street lines, making sure that they are straight and even. This is an important step as it helps to ground the painting and give it a sense of realism. Next, we'll add some final details to the buildings in the background. We'll use a combination of light and shadow to create depth and dimension and we'll add some subtle details such as windows and doors to give the building a sense of life and activity. And uh, as I mentioned in the uh, introduction, um, these are the uh, bonus uh, colors that you can use to bring your painting to the next level. And uh, I've been using for the past couple of months neon colors made by Gapka, and I'll put the uh, link on the description. I wanted for you to see and compare neon orange and neon pink versus cadmium red and you will see the difference in pigmentation and you see how bright these colors are. And I use them very sparingly only on the headlights of the cars or on the traffic lights. I use it anywhere where I want to have really bright colors. I highly recommend these pigments. Finally, we'll step back and take a look at the painting as a whole, making any final adjustments or touch-ups as needed. By the end of this step, you'll have a completed painting that captures the energy and excitement of a woman crossing the street in the heart of New York City. Congratulations and job well done.